Hi guys, welcome to the Leroy Studios. Let's wrap up the bottom app bar. We're going to be integrating the navigation drawer right there in the bottom app bar. So you could see right on the screen, uh, we have uh, the layout in an emulator where you have the bottom app bar right at the As you could see, uh, we have the favorite, uh, the search, and also the overflow menu which serves as the toolbar menu we used to right there on the bottom and uh, if you notice we have the hamburger uh, the, uh, the the drawer where you get to uh, review more options uh, when you have it in the drawer layout you, you click on that opens up the drawer layout where you have um, more menu to, to access this time we're going to be integrating uh, the bottom navigation draw fragment into this layout so i've actually get that done i'll show you uh, how it's going to look a click on this i uh, should actually uh, open up how uh, you could see uh, the drawer where you could have dashboard payments withdraw it depends on the menu you really want to have and on click on that you could take to uh, a different uh, fragment or could replace fragment of the main activity and uh, you have your dashboard fragment your payment fragment and your withdraw fragment just like when you're dealing with the draw layout so when you click uh, you could see a toast saying you have clicked the dashboard the payment and the withdraw so you could inflate fragment and replace uh, the fragments in the main activity to actually replace the main fragment uh, that launches or the first fragment that would show uh, when uh, you launch uh, the main uh, application. So that's just the way to uh, go when you're dealing with uh, bottom app bar, uh, which is from the Android X uh, framework. And uh, we, we add straight to the code so we could understand what uh, we expect in the year. So let's get to understand this uh, right then in the code. Back to the main activity, which is the launcher uh, that actually launches up the full screen you see we integrated the floating action button in the previous tutorial and uh, this time we're going to be calling uh, the on create options menu uh, where we, you need to inflate uh, the bottom bar menu that's a menu XML let's get to look at the content of this XML uh, you get to look at that right there in uh, uh, the layout uh, the rest uh, menu it's a separate as uh, a separate uh, folder, let's say separate directory, uh, and we're going straight down to the bottom bar menu. So this bottom bar menu has the favorite uh, uh, icon, it has the search, and it has the settings, as you could see. So those are the content of this uh, menu. So you need to inflate that in order to make that visible in the bottom uh, app bar. So now, uh, afterwards, you will need to uh, uh, create the draw menu. So the draw menu is also very important because now you need to add the draw uh, to the menu. So you have it as the bottom nav draw menu. So this is where you're going to create the different items, the menu items of the draw, where you could see the dashboard, the payment, and the withdraw. You set up the icons. You could actually use the vector assets of Android Studio to generate different icons for each of those menu. So cool. From here, you could understand how the layouts get to play or how where is it coming from, and, and uh, that takes us back to uh, the main activity. Let's get to see the main activity, which I uh, will be uh, looking at. So now, when you create the options menu, you need to override the on options item selected uh, where you're going to uh, be interacting with a click on each of the menu on the bottom bar the bottom up bar you use a switch statement uh, to get the item id and you use the case if it's these just like the if else so if it's the first case which is the about favorite i uh, just make it those you could actually do something else you could start up the uh, the, the favorite uh, listener. You could start up another layout. You replace fragment. You could do a lot of stuff when you click it on the favorite 
our button or the favorite menu now we'll look focus on the home menu which is the hamburger you saw uh, which is actually the home uh, where you'll be tying up some functionalities down to the home menu uh, the home menu is very important here uh, this is where you call the bottom navigation draft fragment you instantiate that and you have an object uh, to interact with and you call the show you get the support fragment manager and you pass in the bottom navigation draft fragment and you get the tag of each of that so when you get the tag you're good to go now you've actually called on a fragment class which will handle uh the bottom uh navigation draw uh layout so now go straight down to the class uh the class needs to extend the bottom sheet style of fragment uh and you need to write the on create view just like any fragment where you pass the inflator the container which is the view group and the save instance state you need to inflate the fragment bottom sheet that's the layout which uh we'll be looking look at it the layout over here the bottom sheet uh right there in the fragment bottom sheet uh we have the the layout which is pointing at the com google android material navigation down to uh the navigation view so it's actually having a uh, separate navigation you could see where you have the dashboard that's where you will he, uh, implement the menu which is the bottom nav drawer menu i showed to you uh earlier you have the way tonight match parent wrap content respectively layout gravity to the bottom and uh the margin starts just like create some margins around uh the item so cool and you you're using constraint layout so you constrain that to the end of the parent and to the start of the parent and to the top of the parent as well so it's actually going to sit right there cool at the bottom so that's just uh, the layout so back to the to the class uh, what you're going to do you need to interact with the functionality you need to interact with the menu so on click of each of it uh, you're going to do some stuff with it so you get to call the nav view the nav view which is the object which was inflated or which you get the view to you set the navigation item selected listener uh, where you need to instantiate the navigation uh, view calling on the on navigation item selected listener you need to override the method the navigation item selected uh, where you're going to have the menu item uh, to get its id which is the menu item you could see the menu that was attached and uh, we have three menus the dashboard the payment and the withdrawal so on um, use the case to actually get each of them and uh you return true uh for them and the, uh, the point over here you could do something you could do something different which was toast uh you could do something that you could replace the fragment you could go to another activity you could do uh, a mode of fragment you could do some other things it depends on what functionality do you want to carry out when you click on the dashboard when there's a click on the payment when there's a click on the drawer so that's how to integrate the navigation drawer menu or the navigation draw fragment into the bottom app bar uh, this comes as comes to stay and it's a new uh, flow a design flow in android uh, using the android x uh, toolkit the android xbox to actually uh, create this turning ui which i will employ you to lay your hands on so if you have any question whatsoever leave that in the comment section and i'll also be uh, uploading the source code to the github repository so you could lay hands on it you could use it for different purpose educational purpose and uh that's just the recommended way uh to use the source code it's for educational purpose it's for learning so thank you guys for hanging out with me throughout uh, this video uh we employ you to stay by don't go anywhere we still have a lot to talk about when it comes to android development bye bye for now